Hello crafty friends, this is card number 43 in my full deck challenge. For the background of the card, I'm going to use this printable. It's a steampunk printable from Nexus Creations. I will put a link to her Etsy shop in the description below. I like this section with the butterflies, I like the tones and colours and I thought it would make a good background for the idea I have for this card. I'm using Mod Podge to adhere the printable to the face of my card. I find that Mod Podge works well because the card has got a shiny surface so it adheres well and doesn't tend to peel off. I'm just going to trim off the excess and then I'm going to use my corner punch to round the corners. If you want some of the playing card face to show, you could maybe make the printable that you stick down a little smaller so you can see that it's a queen of hearts or whatever. I don't mind that it doesn't show, so I've covered the entire face. I'm going to add the tiniest bit of gesso in the top right and bottom left corners. This is just to make a little bit of contrast and make the background a little bit more interesting so it's not all sort of one tone. It's never too late to join in in my full deck challenge. If you're on Facebook, you can find my group. Just search full deck challenge group. It's a great community of like-minded artists where you can get inspiration, give inspiration and share what you've made. I'm now using my Distress ink in the color Vintage Photo just to distress the edges just a little bit more to give it more of a vintage feel. I want to add these beautiful roses and this birdcage. The birdcage is just a ready-made die cut that I got in a die cut pack. I'm just going to trim it down a bit so there isn't so much white all the way around. And then I'm also going to fussy cut the roses. The roses are from the Digital Collage Club and I'll put a link to that website below um, in my description. There's also a discount code available if you purchase from them and it works with memberships and you really do get a lot of printables and unlimited access to thousands of different printables that you can use for your projects. Once my roses are cut out, I'm just going to see how I'm going to place them. I want sort of one in front and one behind the birdcage. And now I have some lovely new toys I want to play with. I've just received these from Craspire. A little container full of colourful sealing wax. And then I also have the little melting spoons, the tea lights, and then I have six stamps. I'm going to use the butterfly one for this project. I'll put the link to Craspire's website below and there's also a discount code so look out for that so that you can receive a lovely discount when you make a purchase. Now just a note, this is the very first time that I'm using sealing wax. I haven't used it before. I did practice a little bit just before I started filming this video and it is actually a little bit more tricky than I thought to get the wax sort of in a good place round shape to press it down it's a lot of fun do be careful obviously when you are using it because you're using a flame and the spoon does get quite hot but um, i would recommend it as a lovely addition to your project i'm just going to quickly stick down my elements my roses and my birdcage and then we're going to get on to doing the sealing wax but first I'm going to add some white splatter with some watered down white acrylic paint. This is just to balance out the whiteness of the birdcage, otherwise it's sort of just sticking out on its own. So I thought if a bit of white splatter will balance out and bring that white in other areas of the card. And now we're going to do the sealing wax. So I'm just trying to decide what color is going to work best for the sealing wax because I have an idea that I want to add a butterfly or butterfly wings within the seal somehow. So I'm just going to see what colors um, are best. I was going to go with pink first, but I'm thinking the green works well because it picks up with the green leaves of my little fussy cuts. And then I also have these little lovely butterflies that I'm going to cut out. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use yet, but I've cut them all out and then I'm just going to move them around and see which way they're going to look the best. So I'm just going to light my little tea light and then I hold my little melting spoon over that. It actually melts pretty quickly. So I just melt my wax and then I'm going to pour it um, onto the bottom right hand corner of my birdcage. That's where I'm thinking that I want it and I think it'll be balanced there. Before I put the ceiling stamp, I've put in my little butterfly wings. It's just half a butterfly, the purple butterfly, and then I press my stamp on top. A quick way to 
clean your melting spoon it's just with a baby wipe while the wax is still soft and then I left my seal and my butterfly is a little bit at an angle I did want it straight but that's okay um, we can work with this I'm now going to use some metallic wax in the antique gold color. This is available from Little Birdie Crafts. Link will also be available below in the description with the discount code. I'll do add a little bit in the corners too just to pick up that gold. And I love how the purple butterfly wings are sticking out to the side of the wax seal. Now I want to add the little pink butterfly just underneath the wax seal. And for this I'm going to use a hot glue. And then I used the back of my piercing tool to try and press the glue into some sort of round, smaller round shape. But it didn't really work too great. It sort of just oozed out from underneath the butterfly, which I didn't like. So I just pulled those extra bits off and just left it as if it's just stuck down. Not everything works as you imagine it in your head. And that's perfectly okay. That's how we experiment, learn and grow. I would love if you subscribed to my channel and hit the little notification bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and were inspired to go and create your own altered playing cards. I will see you again soon. Bye.